Hey guys, it's Joanna here. I'm gonna do a review of one of our Usborne science books today. Usborne Illustrated Elementary Science Dictionary. We are fortunate to have um, quite a few Usborne books, I would say, here at our house. This is one of our personal ones that I got for my kiddos. It did not come in the kit. Um, so I'm gonna to try to do a review of some of the books, if not all the books that I have to let you guys have a peek inside in case you can't come see them in person. Um, now the one that I got in the kit was this one, the Science Encyclopedia. You can see it is a monster compared to this one. But it's also more, I would say more technical for the older kiddos. Um, the pictures in here are definitely accurate, but they're a little bit more geared toward older kids whereas you'll see when I show you inside this one it's geared more toward the younger kiddos well you can see from the cover too um, this one is $12.99 it is a paperback but it is a thicker glossy type paperback um, it is 129 pages and it is divided into these sections. I will tell you, let's see, the contents. Living things, materials, forces, energy, the earth and space, and science at work. This is the contents page. And so some of the things under living things would be looking at plants, flowers, seeds, the senses, teeth, uh, circulation, microorganisms, biomes, Things under the materials are um, hardness and flexibility, solids, liquids, and gases, electrical conductors, separating mixtures. These are just some of the examples. Forces, we have gravity, friction, pressure, magnets, elasticity, floating machines, floating and machines, not floating machines. <laughs> Energy, we have electricity, light, heat, sound, music. Then the earth and space has um, the moon, space exploration, the sun, things like that. And then science at work has famous scientists, units of measurement, how to do an experiment, and things like that. So, I'm just gonna flip to some of these pages and show you. Here we have teeth. So you can see it shows a tooth and it shows a lot of different things about teeth. Types of teeth, sets of teeth, plaque, dental hygiene. Here we have um, microorganisms, viruses, bacteria, algae, protozoa, all those kinds of things. You can see that it's super colorful, really cute pictures, um, electrical conductors, soil and rocks. We have here, let's see, heat thermometers, Celsius and Fahrenheit, how heat moves. So I would say with each topic, there are some good basic things for the younger ones, all the way up to a little bit more detail where you could gear it towards your, other, your older ones also. Here we have our universe, light years, stars, red giants, black holes, planets, solar system. This is a this topic is a couple of pages because there's so much information. And let's see, I'll just pick one more. Measuring, temperature, volume, weight, length, time. So those are just a few examples. We love this book. It's a great book to reference when your kiddos start answer, asking some of those questions that you know you knew at some point but now it's a little bit fuzzy um, and it's got great pictures and sometimes the kids will ask me questions and I have a hard time putting it in terms that they might understand so this is a great reference to turn to um, to tell you in a kid version the some answers to some of those tough science questions so if you're interested in this book let me know if you have questions if you want to see something specific in this book let me know I will put a link um, to it in the comments or the description or whatever and stay tuned I will be doing probably this one next video to do to compare and then I'll be doing some of my other books that I have also thanks guys bye